Welcome back, and today our special guest is Jason Nichols, who currently is a city councilor for the city of Tahlequah, Ward 1. And Jason, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Jason, tell us a little bit about your background and, and uh, uh, growing up here in the Tahlequah area and so forth, and uh, kind of uh, get us started that way as we kind of learn a little more about our city councilor, Jason Nichols. Well, uh, I was born in Tahlequah in 1975. I just turned 35 uh, last week. So, well, happy uh, birthday. Thank you very much. Um, I've lived here all my life. I think we did a brief stint in Coweta for about 45 days before we decided we wanted to come back. We missed town and uh, we decided yeah, it was back in fourth grade. So it's been uh, 20 years uh, plus of just living here and loving Tahlequah. And, uh, there you go. Well, I think uh, one of the things uh, I met you through uh, when I was the mayor of Tahlequah, uh, it seems like it's just yesterday, but actually about 10 years ago, that uh, we were uh, moving the city of Tahlequah to uh, the 21st century and going to uh, move with some uh, uh, new technology and installing technology and networks. And uh, I had the great opportunity to uh, call a friend of mine, uh, Larry Hogan, at that time was the director of computing and telecommunications at NSU, and said, uh, grab me about five or six college students and uh, I'm going to give them a blank sheet of paper and a little bit of money and see what we can do. And that's how I uh, had the opportunity and, and really quite fortunate to meet you, Jason. So tell us a little bit about how all that got started and, and, and kind of launched you into uh, public service and your interest in the community. Well, I was working at the NET building as a student technical, uh, technical consultant uh, back in the late 90s. And one day I walk in, it's just a small part-time uh, position that they uh, give students almost like a work study. And one day I walk in and I'm going into work and somebody says, uh, you have a message, you need to call the mayor. And you were mayor at the time and uh, I didn't quite know what to think of this and I found out later that uh, Mr. Hogan had kind of uh, arranged a meeting and a discussion for us. And uh, yeah, I guess you took a liking to me, figured I could do the job of putting together an IT department for the city of Tahlequah. We got started in the middle of 2000, early 2000, uh, the year of 2000, and uh, it's, it's kind of gone on from there. I spent the next five years as an employee trying to get the systems in place, develop a website and those kinds of things, and then I decided to run for council. Uh, I had to leave the employment at that point when I won. So. Well, it was, uh, in that case, sacrificial on your part in, in many regards. and. Uh, uh, from the community standpoint, we appreciate you taking that step forward and uh, and making it a personal sacrifice to uh, serve the people. So, tell us a little bit about uh, your your career and professional side has been on the technology side of things. Tell us a little bit about those experiences and and uh, how you developed that as as part of your career path. Well, it was it, the the opportunity that the city provided back when we first got started was wonderful. Uh, nobody gets a chance as an entry level employee to come in and just simply build an IT department. Uh, so that was a dream come true. And it also gave me a, a resume builder uh, to a certain extent. I was able to say that I had actually managed and administrated a, uh, an IT department, was able to eventually find employment when I ran successfully for office. And uh, I've bounced around a little bit here and there, but I've worked for Tahlequah Public Schools and I'm now with the uh, United Couture Band. So. And, and technology, although it continues to change just almost by minute by minute, day by day, uh, it is a great career path for people to consider. It is. It is. And so uh, you're applying a lot of that technology, of course, in your career uh, with the United Katuas, but you also are very aware of the ongoing uh, technical needs and for our technology needs for our community. That's right. Uh, you, you get a little bit of uh, having been an employee for the city for uh, with the city for five years kind of gave me uh, two different vantage points, both from I guess a policy side and from a day-to-day -day side. That allowed me to uh, uh, well just have a unique perspective on what the needs were for the community, both large and small. So, so uh, briefly, uh, and we'll come back in a few minutes in the next segment and talk about specifically some city issues. But uh, where are we as a community, technology-wise, for our city government and city services? Well, I think that we are, uh, there was a person that took over for me named Ed Goss after I left, and he's done a wonderful job uh, building on what we'd had in place at the time, and I think that we're doing well. We just got a uh, report, or I just saw a report yesterday from, I think it's Oklahomans for Responsible Government, and uh, they rated our website 
uh, it could be better, but it could have been a lot worse. And uh, we're, we're proud of where we're at, but we're hoping to actually begin some improvements tomorrow. So uh, we think we're doing well. Very good. So uh, the technology is there, but we continue to improve it. Right. So in, in making that dis those decisions to do the improvements, uh, what's next for us, technology-wise? Well, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, at some point we'll be able to get some broadband expansion. And this is something that doesn't deal with day-to-day -day operations of the city, but as a community, I hope that we're able to increase uh, the availability and the affordability of broadband, especially in the areas immediately outside the city limits of Tahlequah. I think that would uh, probably be a big step for the area. Well, it, I know it's a big concern, and uh, in my working with uh, AT&T, the local service provider, and other independents, uh, those conversations are going on, uh, I know, within the city and, and also at the university as we talk more about a regional application of, of broadband service. So we'll, we'll be on that same team together one more time, Jason. One more time. We, we like old times. We enjoyed it the first time. It'll be more fun even maybe this time. That's right. Hey, We'll be right back, so stay tuned.